in the denominator, I have a variable thing squared plus a constant. And that looks to me like this identity. It's just that I have to modify it a little bit to handle that constant of 9. So I want to be able to factor out a 9 and find a tangent squared plus 1 down there. So I'm going to say let x equal 3 tangent theta. That means my x squared will be 9 tangent squared theta. And then when I factor out the 9, I'll be able to apply this identity to simplify the denominator. I've also got to put uh, the x squared up here in the numerator, and I need to transform the differential. So dx, if x is 3 tangent theta, dx is 3 secant squared theta, d theta. And then I can rewrite my integral. I have an x squared in the numerator. Then in my denominator, I have an x squared, 9 tangent squared, plus 9. And then my dx is 3 secant squared theta d theta. I can factor a 9 out of the denominator and cancel it with the 9 in the numerator. I'll just take care of that right now. And I have a tangent squared theta, secant squared theta, uh, pull the 3 out in front, over tangent squared plus 1, which is secant squared. And our secant squareds cancel. And I end up with the integral of tangent squared theta d theta. So this is just a classic trigonometric integral. How do you handle a tangent squared? Uh, one of the first things you want to think of is using this Pythagorean identity. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn it around and say tangent squared is secant squared minus 1. And this is, this is a good thing because I know how to integrate secant squared. It's just the derivative of the tangent function. So I'm going to go like this. Tangent squared, that's secant squared minus 1. And then I just have to get the antiderivative of each of these pieces. Well, the thing you differentiate to get secant squared is the tangent function. The thing you differentiate to get 1 is just theta. And again, I have to to turn everything back into um, x's for this to be finished. That means I've got to solve for theta up here where I made my substitution. So divide by 3, and I get x over 3 is tangent theta. That means theta is the inverse tangent x over 3. So now I have tangent of the inverse tangent of x over 3 minus inverse tangent x over 3 plus an arbitrary constant. Well, the tangent of the angle whose tangent is x over 3 is just x over 3. I guess I could clean it up and call it x minus 3 inverse tangent x over 3 plus an arbitrary constant.